we're going to talk about muscle and there are three types of muscle found in the body. There is skeletal muscle, there is cardiac muscle and there is smooth muscle. And uh, each of them has in common that they um, perform contractile functions. Um, but there are big differences between one type and another. So we're going to start off with the, the, the easiest one to classify really, which is the skeletal muscle. And each skeletal muscle cell is called a muscle fibre. And they're very, very long. Uh, the longest one in the body is in the sartorius muscle, so it's almost a metre long. Uh, so, and each fibre um, is represented by this sort of long, this is one side of the cell, this is the other. So quite a long cell here. And one thing that we will notice is that the nuclei are peripheral to the cell. There are multiple nuclei in a skeletal muscle cell or fiber uh, located at points all along the muscle fiber itself. And so you can see all of these are peripheral. They're not right within the center of the cell at all. But what you'll see by looking at the cell itself is that it's stripy and this is called striation striated muscles. These striations are there because of the overlap of the thick and thin actin and myosin filaments which cause the contraction to happen. The sliding of these filaments over each other cause the muscle to contract and then as they um, come apart again the muscle relaxes. So looking at skeletal muscle the thing that helps us to distinguish it from other muscle types is that it's got striations uh, the muscle fibres have got peripheral nuclei and often multiple nuclei. And the branch, the fibres themselves are not branched at all. They're all very straight so that when they contract, they pull the muscle um, in one direction. OK, so this is cardiac muscle. So this is a slice of heart here. And if we zoom in and have a little look at the fibres in the heart, we should be able to see that there are a number of features that distinguish them from the skeletal muscle. First of all, the location of the nucleus is central rather than peripheral. So here we can see the nucleus right in the centre of this fibre and this one in the centre of this fibre. Second, uh, we should be able to see striations and we can quite clearly see these striations across the fibres here. So there are clear striations uh, in this muscle type. The third thing that we should be able to see is that the muscle fibres branch. So for instance here we can see this fibre is branching uh, from this one uh, and we can see it in various other locations around as well. Here's another fibre branching uh, in, into two here as well. And the reason for this is because the heart needs to contract the whole uh, receptacle really so it needs fi fibers branching off in all different directions so that when it contracts uh, it, it contracts the whole um, organ rather than just a small part of it so it needs to be contracting in lots of different directions uh, and there is one other feature of heart muscle cell that we should be able to see as well and that's where one fiber meets the next one can use the term fibre as interchangeable with cell in terms of muscles, uh, where one meets the other, they interdigitate with a bunch of gap junctions to facilitate the transport of the signal and desmosomes to join the cells together. So this cluster of gap and um, desmosome junctions is called an intercalated disc and so each fibre is knitted to the next one by intercalated discs and once you've sort of spotted one you can see a few more so there's one here there's one over here um, there's another one down here as well so that's another bit of a giveaway that we are in cardiac muscle so in t to show you smooth muscle I've taken this slice cross-section of the ilium in the small intestine and around the outside of that we can see the muscle fibres uh, and in the intestine we've got an inner circular and an outer longitudinal um, muscle layer. So let's look at this inner circular layer where we can see this type of cells um, that make up smooth muscle. So one thing to say is that the nuclei are very long um, 
and thin, and as are the cells. So they have long, thin nuclei, long, thin cells, but no striations whatsoever at all. So this muscle is non-striated and the nuclei are flat and central to the cell also. Um, if we were to use an electron microscope image, we would be able to see a number of other features. We'd be able to see focal densities that attach the uh, contractile filaments and we'd be able to see cavioli in the membrane surface which allow the passing of signals from one cell to another. So in summary there are three types of muscle cells in the body. Uh, skeletal muscle is striated, has peripheral nuclei and non-branching fibres and is under voluntary control. Cardiac muscle has branched fibres, central nuclei and um, intercalated discs between the fibres and is under involuntary control. And smooth muscle, as illustrated here, has flat nuclei which are central to the cells, no striations and is under involuntary control. Thank you for listening to another podcast brought to you by School of Surgery. Remember you can follow us on Facebook at School of Surgery on iTunes, on Podomatic at schoolofsurgery.podomatic.com and finally by searching School of Surgery on YouTube. Thank you very much and see you next time.